Okay guys, today's video, we're going to be subjecting glass, yes, glass to high voltage. Now we know that glass is a very, very good insulator, but everybody should know that every insulator at a certain voltage will begin to conduct um, once it's incandescent, when it's uh, heated to extreme temperatures, or once it has been broken down from the stress of high voltage. So that's what I want to know today, and uh, just for shits and giggles, and because it's also a rainy day, why not we just do some fun with some high voltage? So let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, and before I start this video, guys, I'd like to thank you all for getting this channel to another milestone. We're almost at 800 subscribers, which is really awesome. So uh, a big thank you to you all for that. Other than that, here is the video. So you can just see down here we've got our piece of glass on an insulator and we're going to see what happens when we subject it to a very high voltage. Starting from zero volts, power's on, there's about, I'd like to say 40 volts going into the transformer so we get about 5,000 volts or so. Let's keep going. Voltage is increased. Now we can just about see Corona. We're about 14,000 volts or so. Keeping it up in that. There's a little bit more than 14 kilovolts now. Alright, let's turn up the voltage a notch and see what that glass can take. Well, it looks like we split the glass in half, which is kind of neat. Power is coming on. Voltage is coming up. That's kind of cool. zone from that is extremely intense guys wow, I've never seen anything like that before got like these little uh continue to turn up the voltage Look at that, that's perfect. So now we've got a light bulb. Pretty decent size, I think it's a 60 watt, I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this does. Oh, it broke down, guys. 
Ooh, wow. Let's continue to fry it. It's lighting up the room, guys. It's a phosphorus flying everywhere now. Well, we definitely nuked it that time. Well, it looks like that light bulb could not handle 34,000 volts too well, let alone 20. Well, guys, it looks like we could not overcome the voltage potential on this big piece of glass. It's just far too big for us, but we almost got there. Um, but we did manage to get some pretty cool uh, sparkage out of it. I was pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, I got about you know 30,000 volts or so from this transformer, which really isn't the proper thing to do. I really should have two of these in series. But at, at this point, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. We managed to burn down some light bulbs and uh, break down some voltage on the glass. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you guys later.